Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Next Day Survival Episode 7 for our series here. And you may be wondering, why am I not wearing any clothes and I am just standing in a building? Well, some of you guys may have noticed that I streamed a couple days ago and did a lot of stuff. So we're kind of leaving where we left off with the stream now. Um, for those of you that caught it, that's awesome. You can, uh, should be able to find the, holy crap, that's a huge deal. You should be able to find the stream on the, uh, channel. Um, and I'll make sure that it is up there as well. But yeah, we did do, uh, a lot of streaming, about two and a half hours worth, and we did some various things like grouped up and hung out and everything, and, uh, went through the bunker, which was pretty cool. So we did a lot of stuff, we killed a lot of people. It was, uh, good fun. By all, if you want to catch that stream, I will make sure that it is up somewheres and you can watch it. It is a long stream, but feel free to skim through it and watch bits and pieces of it. Uh, on top of that, the um, I'll be streaming some more as well. So if you want to, if you missed the stream and you're like, oh man, I missed it. And you know, you think you're forever doomed. You're not. I'll be streaming again here. Uh, sometime soon. I just want to see how much this is worth. 825. Okay, it's not a whole lot, but I do know that it's pretty rare. Uh, we're going to go ahead and trade off some of this. You got the extra map. And uh, we'll sell this. No point in having that stuff. What do we got for clothing and storage? Okay, pair of pants. Let's get a better backpack, right? Because all we're wearing right now is a medium backpack. So we can actually put that right in the ground and grab a halfway decent military backpack and some pants. I thought we Let's see, I must have put it in here. Yeah. All right. I'll put some, put these pants on real quick. Uh, and we've got some gloves, and we've got our military hat, so we're all set and ready to go. All we would need is a gun, and all we have is the Taz 34. So we don't really have a gun. Why don't we walk around real quick these, the um, and loot the bandit area here, the looter area. Uh, and this looter area sometimes has some really good gear. Now... Um, last episode I did pick the looters, and a couple people were kind of curious why I had made that decision. And the biggest one being that the looters are pretty conveniently placed on the map. So if we take a look at the map, the looters are right here in the center. And if you look around, I mean, the civilians are all the way up here. So I'm pretty much like practically equal walking distance from anything that's important. They've got like, if they want to go, you know, over here, they got a long walk. You know, if they want to go down here, they pretty much just forget it. So that's the big reason I picked the looter. Honestly, it's like the number one reason. The second reason being that the bunker, which is for those of you who don't know, it is uh, sort of like a dungeon in the game. I guess you could call it like a raid, like a, you know, like World of Warcraft had and stuff where you can go through with like a team of people or by yourself, kill NPCs and get really good gear and weapons. And that's really close to the looter base. So it really just made sense to go to the, um, to, to pick looters. Uh, for just the conveniency of everything. Uh, so that's just the way it is. I'd like to see the map expanded at some point, and I'd love to see the civilians get, uh, you know, their fair, uh, share of everything, but you can't always, not everybody can be a winner, I guess. There's a guy looting that barracks right now, so we'll jump over and see if we can loot this one real quick. I'm just trying to see if I can find any last minute stuff. It'd be really cool if I found a gun. Thought I saw something on top of that locker. If not, we could always buy like a pistol or something. I've got guns. They're just at the neutral. And I've yet to make the journey. At some point, I'd like to move all of my stuff from the neutral area here. Whoa. That box takes its job pretty seriously. Um, at some point I'd like to move all my stuff from the looter area to here, but I just don't think it's going to happen all that soon. Um, we do have the one weapon, so I guess, oh, let's see if we've got ammo or we can buy ammo for it, how much it would be. 
Wow, yeah, not worth it, if I can be honest with you. Yeah, I pretty much lost everything else, and for the most part, most of the stuff doesn't seem like it's worth buying. Do I have 9x18? I think I do. A little bit, not a lot. Why don't we buy the Makarov pistol so we have something, right? I know it's a waste. Ugh, I really don't want to do it. Whatever. I know it's a super big waste, but you know what? What's it really matter? I mean, it's not like we can't find a million freaking... It's not like we can't find a million uh, different things to trade for money and all that. Like, I'm really not that concerned, if I could be honest with you guys. Like, right there, I could trade those binoculars because... Um, I just don't need them right now. So there's a hundred right there. Let's grab some food and water as well. Um, and we might as well grab a med kit. And let's take some vitamins too. And then yes, some food. Um, and that, and we'll go to the well. So what's the plan for today's episode is what you guys might be asking yourself or you may not be asking yourself. You may not care. Well, I'm going to tell you anyways, the plan is to head, I believe, I think I'm going to head towards the bunker. I actually logged into a server with not very many people in, in it um, because I intentionally planned on going to the bunker and maybe kind of going around and getting some gear. Now there is NPCs down there and they will really screw you up if you're not careful. So... We're going to try to play it careful, but that's sort of the uh, mission. Uh, because for those of you that watch the stream, you'll uh, know that I had a lot of really good gear. I had gone down to the bunker. I had harvested like a ton of gear, and then I died over and over and lost it all. And what is it? There's three of us in here now. So I died over and over and lost it all. So it was extremely disappointing. Right Here's the well. And I want to go back and sort of avenge myself by trying to get at least a few guns to have in storage. So I don't have to keep buying pistols for $700 or credits or whatever you want to call them. You know, I want to be able to go inside of the trader area there or my storage and just have weapons uh, ready and available to draw from. You know, if I want to go out and kill other players or I want to, um, I want to go out and hit the bunker, I need to have things ready to do that. And I can't have things ready to do that if... I don't have any gear, so that's going to be the plan. We're going to head over. It's over by this aircraft. We can hit up the tents near there anyways because the tents usually are, um, they have a decent amount of gear. Sometimes these vehicles spawn some stuff too. You just should always take a look. So, and sometimes they don't. But at this point, I've learned that for the most part, it's possible for pretty much anything to spawn gear. Okay. I'm hoping there's nobody here. I don't think there will be. I just, I don't know why. I just have a feeling there's not going to be anybody here. I hope that I hope that feeling's right. All right, let's loot this camp real quick. Sometimes you can get some good stuff just laying around right here before you head in. Um, what is that? Is that something? No, it's just like a vase or something. Um, I would take that, but I'm not going to worry about it because I know I can get some really good military type jackets and everything inside of the bunker. The headlamp, not really worth it. Uh, those things might be work it, worth it if I was going to trade them. But like I said, like you can, you can seriously load up on some good gear inside the bunker when you get in there. So there really is no reason to... Uh, pick up any stuff over there that's because the stuff that I can get in the bunker I can trade for a lot more I hope it gets to a point where you can trade with players that would be pretty cool I know War Z had a pretty cool thing where like you could go online and trade and stuff oh damn there's a wolf right there there's a vehicle up there I'm pretty sure that's a working vehicle up there Am I 
right or wrong, I'm almost positive that right there is a working vehicle. I might be wrong. There's a road right here. I think I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. It's not working. It, from far away, it looked like it was a working vehicle. I know there's an APC. In the stream, I found one. So you guys can go, if you want to know what an armored personal carrier looks like in this game, I found one in the stream and I hung around it for a while, but I didn't have anything to fix it. It was really freaking cool. Yeah, I know most people aren't going to have like 20 or what, two hours, not 20 hours, what the hell? Like, I know most people aren't going to have two hours to like watch that, but I definitely recommend checking it, the, at least the, um, you know, skimming through it and checking like the bunker part of it out. But we're going inside the bunker here anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. We're just going to hope there's no other players down here. Um, if there isn't, we die. It's really not that big of a deal. Like, yeah, you know, I'll be a little upset because, you know, I don't want to die, but I'm not going to make a big deal out of it because, I mean, there's sometimes other players down here and sometimes they shoot you. The NPCs tend to be pretty brutal too. They're not too bad, but. I don't know. I think the Makarov's probably not enough to handle the bunker, to be honest with you. But I'm going to head down here anyways. What are things we're trying to get while we're down here? I've got lots of backpacks, but I wouldn't mind getting some extra gear, such as pants and military jackets and... Um, stuff like that. I really want to get more guns, obviously. Who doesn't want more guns? Uh, for particular guns, I mean, RPKs are pretty nice and they're fairly common down here. So I wouldn't mind that. But I have the whole server to myself. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that, but it doesn't have to be RPKs. Yeah, I have the whole freaking server to myself. This is awesome. So nothing spawning down here yet. Now's a good chance to go and quickly try to loot some stuff before guys start spawning in. Because um, they don't start spawned in right away. So you get a little bit of time to run around. At least that's been my general experience. We'll grab whatever we can for the most part. And then if it gets to a point where we've got so much good gear that we have to drop stuff. Well we're not going to grab the matches. Then we'll start dropping stuff. Oh. Ah, did that did that again not even sure how that happened probably because my cursor was at the bottom of the screen all right I see him right there he's moving okay he's falling back so we're gonna move oh 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 that was close. He's going to come back this way. Oh, there's too many of them. We can't fight them all. All right, we're out of here. It was worth it was worth a shot. I saw two there plus the third one on the stairs. We can fight one, but we can't fight three. Well, that didn't go as intended. I really need another person to probably do this. Maybe I'll bring somebody with me next time. I bet I can find somebody too. Uh, inside of the um, inside the actual game, but I do have the whole server to myself right now. I guess I could... Um, I don't have to do the bunker. I just wanted to show you guys the bunker right there, and I was going to grab some gear if I could, but you know what? We're not going to risk it. So here's what we're going to do. We've got... Um, we don't have the server to ourselves. We only had the bunker to ourselves. Uh, we're all the way down here, so... We're going to head towards the depot right now. I haven't been down that way, and I tried to bring you guys to it near the beginning of the series, and I died. So we're going to go ahead and head that way and get some gear that way. Um, you know, uh, the bunker's not obviously the only place to get guns and everything, so we can go to some other places. We will shoot on site anybody we see that's not a looter. Um, unless they're like a fresh spawn civilian, I do have some uh, very little morals, um, not a lot, but enough to get me by. And I just generally don't, um, kill fresh spawn civilians, uh, simply because when I'm a fresh spawn civilian, I pretty much hate when somebody just blows my head off with a rifle. Um, you know, I know it's funny sometimes, but 
I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, occasionally, if a fresh spawn civilian is going to run up to me and try punching me, I mean, obviously, I'm going to blow their brains out. But um, I'm not going to actively go to, like, the neutral zone and start hunting civilians. Or f I guess civilians is a bad word, right? Because civilians is a faction, so I, sh I shouldn't be saying that. I'm not going to go and hunt new players or noobs, I guess you could say. I would definitely hunt civilians, though, because I'm a looter, and that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, is this a gun box? No. See, sometimes those boxes, you can press F and get guns out of them. So, you know, there's a depot over here. I've never been down this way, as you guys know. Even when I streamed, I didn't come down this way. Um, we just never got down here. We ended up going to the bunker and spending most of our time there. I'm hoping that there's some potential for some good stuff down here. But I really don't know what to expect. At all. I mean, a train depot. I mean, uh, are you going to find guns down here? But Probably, definitely not. I don't know. Maybe we'll find something. I mean, we're hoping to, right? And I also don't know if there's like NPCs here. So that's something, you know, that's the thing about this game. It's not always the players you got to worry about. Okay. There's sandbags here. So I'm feeling a little confident. Smokeless powder. All right. So I'm thinking we're going to find a lot of uh, more like crafting supplies stuff here. Maybe smokeless powder is used to make ammunition. For those of you wondering, could have probably picked it up. It's actually not bad to trade. Well, there seems to be some sandbags and stuff over here. What do we got? Ooh, a gas mask. So that's a good find. I don't know if I want to put it on, but I guess if we're gonna. I don't think it hurts to have it on. Guns are like one of those things that aren't rare, but they are rare, if that makes sense. Like, it's easy to find guns to a certain point. But, like, there's locations where you're guaranteed guns, but then if you leave those locations, it's, like, really hard to find a, like, proper weapon. You know, so obviously you're down, kill, you're killing NPCs or you're down inside the um, bunker, you're going to find guns pretty easily. But you you leave those areas, it it gets very difficult very quickly. I mean, you can see that outside of, like, the very few things I found here, there's really... Nothing else. I could go up there, but I doubt, other than just being a walkway, I doubt there's actually anything up there. But there is some military vehicles and such, so... Guns will sometimes spawn inside those boxes. What do we have here? Oh, boy. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. It's not what I thought it was. I thought it was the orange. There's a hazmat you suit you can buy that's, I, I believe, orange. And it's super rare and worth a lot. I thought that's what that was for a second. I was about to freak. Oh, there we go. That's not a bad find. Better than using up our ammo. I'm sure I'm probably missing some good loot locations as well. By the way, I'm just kind of running around. But I want to kind of just do a quick scan and then we'll head on and check out some other locations. I don't want to hang around forever. All right, nothing there. What do we got? Does anything really even spawn inside these? I don't think I've ever seen anything. 
Military pants and ankle boots. So we're finding, see, that's got a protection of 10%. So we're actually going to put that on. So we're finding, you know, we got some gloves. We got a couple pairs of pants. Like these are the things we need because what we're going to do is we're going to store all of this stuff. And like I said earlier, that way we, we always have a ready supply of um, stuff to fall back on. Oh, a toolkit. That is good if we find a vehicle that could be uh, worth our while. Oh, a board. I don't think I've ever seen a board before. It probably used for crafting something. I haven't messed with the crafting system really because I find that all the items you can f you can like quickly find items like anything that you can you can find you can find quicker than you know is worth your time finding the resources to craft and then it's it's quicker to find and it's usually better than anything you can craft so crafting just at this point doesn't seem like it holds much water obviously that'll change I'm sure I don't know if there's any intentions for like I don't know what, what like base building or anything like that or like, I don't know if that's something they plan on implementing. I, I haven't seen the roadmap. I should. I mean, I looked at it briefly, but I should probably go back and check it out. I do know that big things on the roadmap were obviously, um, the, you know, some of the more basics. Um, there's, they want to add more uh, locations to the map, expand the size of the map. I know they want to do more vehicles and weapon types and larger servers as well. So there's a wolf. I bet we can use the axe to kill him. Oh, he didn't even do any damage to us, did he? He didn't even get a single hit on us. That's right. Get out of here. That's fine by me. That was pretty much awesome. He didn't even get a strike on us and he was like right there. There are some gases over there. We're not going to go in that area at all. Some more broken military vehicles. We're going to head down into this sort of town area. Maybe we'll find a vehicle. Maybe we'll find an APC. But yeah, we haven't been down here, so we don't really know what we're going to find. I need to stop and eat and drink at some point, And hopefully we find some food and water inside here. Now would actually be a good time to get that airdrop if it comes down near us. There it goes. Nope, it's going to fly right past. Because there's not very many people in the server, but I, I'd imagine that all these people, you know, I'd, I'd imagine a few of them are going to probably go there, you know, one or two of them. And we're not really geared up for that yet. If it had dropped nearby, I would have I would have went for it. But it didn't. So we're not. All right, what do we got? Where did it, where did it drop? I mean, I can still hear the helicopter. Oh, that's way away. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Yep, we're not going to make that hike. All right. There's a lot of stuff down here. But nothing seems to really be spawning in for good gear anyways. I figure if we find a vehicle, they'll definitely be one here. I don't know why. I just have that feeling. Oh. Helicopter there. Yeah, let's draw this wolf real quick. Ah, he did. He got us. There we go. We got him though.
All right, we're not bleeding, so that's good. We definitely need to eat and drink, though. Let's find a safe place to do that, and then we'll go check out that helicopter real quick. Insulating tape right there. All right, let's go take a look. I'm feeling good about the helicopter. Anything here? Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. I, I was hoping for uh, at least a gun. All right, well, we're out of time, so we're going to leave it off here. Uh, next time, we'll keep exploring through this town here and see what we can find. Uh, not looking too good so far. We just haven't had a whole lot of luck with it, except that we did find a car. So that's lucky. Um, what do we need? It's got a storage battery. We need keys, which we don't have. We do have a toolkit. But it's in fine condition and it has fuel. So we just need keys and a spark plug. But we could probably find that stuff. Okay, we'll see what we can do. We'll keep walking around the town see if we can find the stuff to repair that vehicle. And that'll be our focus next time. So, yeah, that's the plan. And hopefully we'll also find a gun as well. So, thank you guys for joining me. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.